So you've washed your car, and since you followed our handy how-to video, you've done a great job. But there's still more that you can do to protect your paintwork and give it that showroom shine. Make sure the surface of your car is clean, dry and cool to the touch. Then apply a small amount of bug and tar remover to affected areas and work it in with a microfiber cloth. Give the product around 30 seconds to dissolve contaminants, then remove the residue with a clean microfiber cloth. Now you'll want to break off a decent sized chunk of your clay and knead it into a nice flat surface to work with. Lubricate an area around a metre square with either the lubricant that came with your clay kit or a detailer spray and then rub the clay over the panel in long linear motions. You won't need to press too hard and you should feel the clay begin to pick up and remove contaminants as you work. Fold your clay into itself and knead it back into shape between each section and dispose of it if you drop it on the ground in order to prevent any grit or other particles from scratching your paint. Once you complete a section and the clay glides over your paintwork with no resistance, then give it a wipe down with a clean microfiber cloth and move on until the whole car is done. Following a bug and tar or clay bar treatment, your car's paint must have a wax applied to ensure that it's protected and give it a longer lasting shine. We'll get onto that shortly, but first, let's polish it. You'll need a good quality polish, a clean microfiber cloth, and either a simple applicator pad to rub your polish in by hand or an electric buffer. To do it by hand, you simply rub the polish into your paintwork in circular motions with a moderate amount of pressure and then buff the area to remove any residue using your microfiber cloth. An electric buffer is a little more involved, but only until you get comfortable with the technique. The random orbital buffer varies the point of contact to minimise the risk of damage, but because it's a little more forgiving, this type of buffer is only suited for removing light paint swirls and blemishes. You'll want to apply a dab of polish to the applicator pad and then spread the polish around the panel you're working on before switching the buffer on. A little trick to ensure you run less risk of burning through your clear coat is to add a quick spray of detailer to your applicator pad. It'll act as a lubricant and make the polishing process a little smoother. Work on one small area at a time, taking extra care to avoid contact with rubber, vinyl and other non-painted or porous surfaces. Move your buffer in gentle overlapping motions, up and down and side to side as you go. Buffers only need light pressure to work, so you don't need to use more than a light touch. Once the polish begins to dry or run clear, then wipe down the panel with a microfiber cloth to remove any residue. Once you're happy with each section, then move on to the next until the whole car is polished up and ready for the last part of the process, a protective wax coating. For the final step, you'll need some protective wax, an applicator pad and, you guessed it, a microfiber cloth. Since we promised ourselves we wouldn't make any karate-related jokes and you probably aren't training for a tournament, it's recommended that you use a cream or liquid wax if you want a quick and easy job of it. Apply the wax in circular motions to a small section of the car at a time and avoid all of the same surfaces as you did when you were polishing. Once you've rubbed the wax into each area, give each section a wipe down with your microfiber cloth to clean off any residue. Make sure that you take care of any wax that might have worked its way into panel gaps as well. And there you have it. Your car's paint job should now be looking top notch. Check out the next video where we'll show you how to maintain your car's gorgeous showroom shine in between cleans, polishes and waxing jobs.